In the western suburbs, an explosion at an apartment complex blows out windows and flash fires are reported at several locations from an apparent gasoline leak. Let's go live to CBS 2's Dana Kosloff at the gas station in Westmont where the leak may have originated. Dana. Erica and tankers continue to roll in and out of the speedway here in Westmont. They are emptying the station's gas tank. So far, authorities say 60,000 gallons of a gasoline water mixture have been removed from the tanks here as a way to stop this gasoline leak and get the situation under control. Municipal crews work as fast as they can, lifting manhole covers and testing sewers for gasoline vapors. It's part of the Willowbrook area's emergency response to a gasoline leak believed to be from this speedway that leached into the sanitary district sewer system, sparking at least 10 area explosions and fires. We continue to work on flushing the sewers. One explosion happened this morning at the Knowles apartment complex, injuring resident Margaret Rice. She was doing laundry and she was at the dryer and she put her coins in there and for some reason it just ignited. The explosion caused crews to shut off gas and power there. We were kind of temporarily evacuated out of the building and uh, you know asked if all our windows and doors could be open so we could um, you know mitigate the fumage. Many residents say they noticed the gas smell last night and called authorities who thought they had the situation handled. Ditto for many living in nearby subdivisions. The Bonlows were on their way to Door County when an urgent call from a neighbor had them turn back just to be safe. Well, our gas is off, so we shouldn't have any issues. But for people that weren't home, that didn't turn their gas off, there's still a risk. How much longer do you think it will take until the risk is at zero? Uh, zero is going to take a long time. We believe if things go smoothly tonight by tomorrow, uh, we should be in good shape. Until then, authorities say dozens of people will not be allowed back into their units at the Knolls. Hundreds of others in this area remain without gas. That has been shut off. It really uh, affects an eight-mile stretch where the gasoline is running in those sewer lines to the sanitary district. We are live in Westmont. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Erica? Okay, thank you, Dana.